Today's topic is about the critically acclaimed film by Walt Disney, Underdog. And, uh, it describes a certain uh, fetish I have. Uh, not dogs, but the underdog. And, you know, everyone wants to be all, like, big and tough and, like, macho in their head. Which I could uh, never relate to. You know... Uh, I'm one of the weird ones that don't think like that. You know, I'm always fascinated with the underdog. You know, that whole uh, dodginess and finesse, it's such a cool thing. Like, going after things and fighting fights that are, like, so above me, I have to be on this new level to even make a dent. Like, having to look up and see the enemy. You know, having to use my whole mind, my whole body, to even stand a chance. You know, having the odds stacked against me, it's this uh, underdog thing. And, you know, it's just a part of the environment. Now, uh, this underdog uh, fetish, not a whole lot of people share with me. You know, everyone wants to be all big and tough, and I can kill anyone with one punch because I'm so strong. Look, I leave the weights after I'm done lifting on the bar thing. To show the person who comes after me just how tough I am. What the hell are those things called? You know, I could never mold to that. Because there is always a bigger fish, you know? And if your entire strategy in a fight is just to say that I'm the bigger fish and that's how I win. You know, it'll end really quickly whenever the bigger fish eventually comes along. And... But being the average size fish, and being able to uh, work the hands, and being able to compensate when outmatch, always got something. Freaking Dark Souls of video game. You know, when it's a Saturday night, and I get back from all the parties and socializing, I definitely do. I don't socialize, but I play Dark Souls. <laughs> and I love them, man. You know, I got... Bloodborne is my uh, favorite game, right? Bloodborne. And my favorite uh, boss in all of video gaming is this uh, guy named uh, Ludwig. And uh, you're such the underdog when you fight him. He's like uh, maybe like 25 feet tall and he got like fused to his horse. <laughs> Man, I love that game. These uh, Souls games... Are like some of the best ways to saturate yourself in underdogatry. Like uh, Dark Souls, you play some worthless zombie, and even like the basic knights are taller than you. You know the difficulty too. It it, it makes the fight feel so uneven. You know the player is forced to use skills and find these to even the odds. It is so badass. It's such a full force of the entire body. And uh, this is a weird thing I want to describe. It's a stalwart in its meaning, but there's no word for it, I know. <sighs> I like to call it uh, part of the map. You know, just another cog in the system. You know, being no exception. You know, a commoner who came from where they came. Like in uh, Sekiro, another game from From Software. Uh, Sekiro will walk into a boss room, you know, he won't uh, bloat his ego, he doesn't try to degrade his opponent's corpse after he wins, he sort of fights, uses what he's got, and uh, weaknesses, and all. You know, Sekiro ain't no deity, no uh, supremely powerful god, hell he used to try and fight hard to win. It's a leaf in the wind, it's so plutonic, you know, the underdog is honest. Not trying to be validated and obsessed with facts, but you know, down to earth and humble. Shut 
たぎってきた行くぞ関野You know, pretending to be the tough guy and thinking the only way I win is by the numbers sucks. Because uh, eventually, someone will come along with uh, bigger numbers and they'll win. But, you know, being the underdog, it's impossible to win every fight. But uh, one can stand a chance and take down huge bosses and goals such beyond. Now this applies to more than just fights. I say fights because it's a good example, but the whole underdog thing can be applied to every goal in every action. Like, uh, I'm going to college, and I'm not going to pretend like I have a bigger wiener than the school campus. You know, I'm playing my cards, working weeks in advance, and using what I got. It's the underdog, you know, or uh, learning the skill. Like, to play the instrument, don't think like, this guitar is my bitch and it does everything I want. You have to work with the guitar and like make it breathe, you know, and learning becomes so much more natural and easy. You know, the takeaway of this video is that there is always a bigger fish, but you can still be awesome. You gotta get the fucking light on it. Notice the sideburn? That's what they call proper sideburns. That like shit where it like forms into the beard is ugly as hell. Okay, I have another example. See, that's proper sideburns. You know, it's just the hair that goes down and makes the sideburns. Not your f facial hair. It looks like shit. It looks so grimy. Like you can like that oil that's on your skin. It's like thick with that and it's like it's fucking gross but I have my uh, tune link here and you can notice that his sideburns are just the hair that grows right here extended downwards that is proper sideburns uh, like shortly cut facial hair that goes down like that looks like shit it looks like fucking shit but you can look with the tune link and see there it is. See how it's just his hair? It's not a freaking micro beard. 
It's ugly as hell. <laughs>